Well, a new exhibition of photographs is shining a spotlight on the lives of black people in Britain from the 50s to the 90s. It is the result of seven years of collaboration between the Black Cultural Archives and the Victorian and Albert Museum. Staying power includes the work of photographers who were documenting the lives of people in the mass migration following the arrival of the Windrush. It showcases the work of 14 photographers and one of them, Jenny Baptiste, joins me now. Well, Jenny, f first of all, um, you're one of the participators in this exhibition. Why did you want to be involved? Um, I was actually invited to be involved, so um, I was lucky enough to be chosen um, out of an array of photographers. Um, so they had a panel and I had to present my work and archive um, over the last sort of 10 to 15 years. So they went through about 100 images of mine and it went through a selection process. So it's a really big endorsement of, of everything you stand for as a photographer, isn't it? Yes, it is. And, and, and where does your work, tell me where your work starts, what, what, what year? Um, it started in 1993, which is a long time ago. Um, <laughs> when I was a student, I was studying at the London College of Printing, doing a degree in photography, and I got my first um, photograph published in a music magazine called Touch Magazine. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, I know the L London College of Printing. I went there for a short while as well. It's very, very good college for certain subjects, isn't it? It is, yes. Um, particularly. Um, photography as we can see here they're very very interesting images you've got a particular kind of style how would you describe it um, I suppose my style it, you know I really like doing black and white and I really like doing color it's quite hard for me to define it in the sense that I just like to try and capture the real essence of the person that I'm shooting yeah they've got a lot of impact and sometimes like this one we, we've just seen a couple here the color ones they're incredibly um, they're incredibly like very formal portraits I guess whereas some of the, some of them aren't um, the ones the ones sharing at the moment these are Ingrid Pollard's photographs the, the photograph that I've got featured in the exhibition is of Pinky um, and it's shot at, at home um, Pinky is uh, very much into dancehall culture. She is known, well, very well known in Brixton. She only wears pink. I went to her house. Her, hang her house is pink. Everything in her house is just different shades of pink. She was a really interesting um, person to meet and to talk to. Um, and to capture photographically as well. That's so interesting. We're going to try and take um, another look at Pinky. Mm. Um, it's, we're just seeing now if we can sort of technically recure it. That is a fascinating photograph, isn't it? It's just such an interesting shot. Yes. Um, for, for me, it was about just capturing the true essence of who she is. Um, and it's very much a, in, this, in the style of documentary, just going in and capturing a person at home, yeah. how they are. Um, this is her getting ready well, to go out on a night out. Just explain to me the little bit about this dance hall thing, because I hadn't really heard of that before. That's a particular type of, um, it's a genre or what? It's, it's, a, it's a music, um, originally derived in the West Indies, in Jamaica, um, a clash of sound systems. So originally it was a formation of, of reggae, and this is again going back in the mid-90s, early 2000s. Um, and it's a form of music that you know people listen to. It's a very varied exhibition, as you say. We can see shots there of of people coming to this country after the Windrush um, pulled into port. We can see um, people who f were affected by racism. Mm -hmm. We can see a woman holding up a passport when she became an English citizen, and mm. then we see bits of sort of black Afro culture, all the rest of it. Um, mm. Why do you think it's important to document that time from when the Windrush arrived to to the 90s? Um, I think it's a good, a good way of showing our experience, even like our, my parents' experience of coming here in the 60s and chronologically showing that histor historical perspective. Um, and it's a good way of young people being able to learn about their culture and identity and, and history. Um, within mainstream culture and what we've contributed to mainstream society. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of as though you want to explain your own identity, but also show how you've integrated in, into society in Britain. Yes. Well, it's quite a useful thing to do right now, isn't it? Yes, that's, that's totally it. That's, that's, that's right. And it's about, you know, learning that, that, that experience and sharing that knowledge with other people as well. And so tell me a little bit about the exhibition. It starts when? It's, um, it's already started. It started um, at the V&A on the 16th of February and it started at the Black Cultural Archives in Brixton on the 15th of January and it's running until 
the end of May in the Victorian Albert Museum and the end of June at the Black Cultural Archives Museum. And so there's plenty of chance to see it. What do you think people will um, get from going to the exhibition? Um, they'll be able to take away and enjoy a piece of history and a, and, and a piece of British culture as well. Yeah, okay. And so and the VNA exhibition that runs until May as well? Yes, that runs until the 24th of May. Right. And um tell me uh, it, who who are, the, who are the other photographers did you say in the exhibition? The other There's Dennis Morris, Charlie Phillips, Ahmet Francis, Ingrid Pollard. There's about 17 photographers in, in all. And there's quite a wide spectrum therefore of styles and of content, isn't mm. there? Yes, definitely. I mean, we, we all come from different walks of life and across span different decades. Um, I started off in the mid-90s. You know, they've also got photographers who started off in the early part of the 60s. So it's, it's a wide age group. I think the oldest photographer within it is 72. Really? And, yeah. and just to, to briefly, because we're, we're kind of coming to a close right now, but what would you say were some of the key highlights of the exhibition? What are some of your favourite photographs, apart from Pinky, that is? <laughs> um, I do like some of Nortsky's work, as well as Charlie Phillips and Armit Francis. Um, it, the, the, some of the black and white stuff photographs um, that depict in the 1960s era I'm quite interested in because my own parents came over during that time and to have heard the stories of, of what happened and how it was over here but to now actually see photographic doc documentation is um, it's really good. Right, so we're going to remind people they need to go. It's at the Victoria and Albert and the... Black Cultural Archives in Brixton. Yeah, and they're both exhibitions are on until the end of May. Yes, end of May and end of, end of June. Right, so everyone needs to get there. They can see your exhibition and, and of course, Alexander McQueen's at the V&A as well. Yes. Yeah.